Hello, Resurrection. It's the 22nd of March. <clears throat> it's Wednesday, and we are uh, gearing up for all of our uh, Wednesday night programming, regular stuff. Uh, tonight, dinner at 6, oh, well, back up, uh, evening prayer at 5.30, dinner at 6, and then break out into all of our regular youth group, children's groups, and, uh, children's choir, and adult groups. Uh, I think that the weather will be cleared up by the time uh, we get uh, we get to that time tonight, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting here. Sure was rainy this morning, though. Uh, lots of lots of rain this morning. We had a good vestry meeting uh, on Monday night. It was a week later than it usually is, and uh, uh, it was my last vestry meeting before I go on sabbatical. And I'm not just saying this, not trying to put anybody's mind at ease because I think your minds are at ease already. Uh, but y'all, we have an incredible group of lay leaders in this church. And certainly the vestry is an incredible group, a, a very good group. One of the best vestries I've ever uh, I've ever seen, not just here, but but anywhere, any vestry I've, I've really ever seen. It's a good uh, vestry. And those people love you. Those people work hard for you. But it's not just the vestry. We have got some incredible lay leaders in this parish. I've always known that. But, but you know, we, we kind of put out a call. We kind of issued a call that it's going to be all hands to the pump for about, it's almost four months, y'all. It's three and a half months uh, while I will be away. And boy, I've never seen a parish step up the way you all have stepped up. Uh, an incredible group of lay leaders has has surfaced, and they're doing a million different things. You all are doing a million different things for your parish right now. You are, um, I mean, we've got people that are uh, that are I'm doing everything from cleaning out closets that haven't been cleaned out in 30 years to organizing, to putting structures in place, to putting groups in place, to taking uh, uh, to taking on new ministries, to joining new things, to leading new things, to teaching new things. I'm serious. I've, I really have not ever seen a parish uh, to do that. And I want to tell you a little secret. Uh, and the secret is I have been very, this is, well, maybe it is a brag. I have been very successful in my ministry. I have a niche. You all know that. It is with smaller parishes. It's with uh, usually uh, usually, I, I, I say rural parishes, although it's usually suburban parishes, which we certainly are uh, out here in the burbs. Uh, and uh, and and I, I have seen some 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 pretty good success in that ministry, but the secret that I want to tell you is it's not because I'm any good at what I do; it is because I know how to pick them. I know how to pick the parishes that are poised to go. And the parishes that I pick every single time are people who, one, love the Lord, and two, are ready to get going. And, and I picked Resurrection. Uh, now, Resurrection picked me back, but I picked Resurrection. I, 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 I could have gone to a lot of different places, and Resurrection was the, was the one because Resurrection had a team of folks that were ready to go. In fact, not only ready to go, but we're kind of going already. I fell in love with the search committee when I got here, and it was because of that group of lay leaders. Now, some of those lay leaders have gone on other places. Some of those lay leaders are still right here with us, but we've added to those folks. Uh, in the last couple of years, we've had folks come in from different places in the diocese, have moved in from other parts of the country that have just kind of slid right into place at, uh, in, in fact, if we ever get a complaint from people, it is, I'm trying to get in and lead, and we've got so many leaders that I'm not doing as much as I'd like to. Uh, and F, that, of course, is a blessing and a curse. We want to make room for everybody, but having too many folks doing too much good stuff, that's a, that's a blessing from God. It's an answer to prayer. And if I had a choice to pick all over again, I'd pick resurrection all over again. Because not only did we see that happen when I first came, but we're seeing it happen again. Now, I don't know if you've done the math. You know, I like to crunch numbers. Uh, but we tripled the size of this parish within the first five years of, of me being here. We are, we are now 
easily back to pre-pandemic numbers. It took us a good two and a half years to get back there, but we are easily back to our pre-pandemic levels. And I'm ready to triple the parish again. And I think that the Lord Jesus is ready for, to do that again too, because he's, he's stirring us. Have you noticed? We are stirring. Now, we are turning the corner into the hardest work that we do liturgically all year long, and that is the, the end of Lent, Holy Week, into, into Easter. And I say that that's, it's hard work liturgically. It's beautiful and it's rewarding, but it is, it is hard work. You're also doing the hardest work physically and emotionally and spiritually that I've seen you do in, in years. Uh, and I think I'm working uh, harder than I have in years in those ways as well. And when I come back from my sabbatical, I'm going to be ready to go. Hope, pray, I'm praying that the Holy Spirit will will hone me and focus me and recharge me so that I will come back hitting all, on all cylinders because I know you will be. You're already almost there. You're already getting there. I've already seen the beginning of what I prayed might happen while I was gone. I'm already seeing it uh, happen. And there's nothing to do but thank God uh, for that. So when we come back, I don't see any reason in the world why the Holy Spirit doesn't have us poised to do again the good work that he has done in us in growing this parish and spreading the kingdom of God right here where we are and even outside of where we are. So I want to tell you that, you know, I'm not hearing too much of that, oh, it's not the right time, Chad, thing anymore. I'm not hearing too much of that because it's baloney, uh, because it's clearly the right time. Uh, it is it is obviously uh, the right time because the Holy Spirit is already in here amongst us. It's a beautiful time to do this, and I'm excited about it. I'm excited for the work that is clearly coming, no doubt in my mind. And if you haven't seen it, uh, wake up, look around, because it's it's here. It's time to do this work, and uh, and we're we're ready to hit the ground running. Y'all take these last couple of weeks, focus on your prayer life in these last couple of weeks. Come to evening prayer. Come to morning prayer. Say them at home. Say your prayers. Talk to God. Talk to him in the car. Use your voice if you want to. Use your mouth. Uh, or talk to him in your in your heart. He will hear you either way. Don't forget to listen because he will talk back. He will. I promise. He, he always does. He will show you things. He will talk to you. He will guide your, your footsteps. Do that for these next two weeks. We've got two weeks of Lent left and do those things, do that hard work, because we are going to need that recharge for the work that is coming, because never been more sure of anything in my life. It's coming. It's here. I love you so much. I'm looking forward to these last couple of weeks with you before I go away, and I'm looking very much forward already, already to coming back to the work that we're going to have to do together. I love you. I'll see you soon.